We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. What is the relationship between uh, modern robotics and GoBuilda? I know that seems like that was the first, my first experience encountering GoBuilda parts. Sure, I, I can handle that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we were developing, uh, mo- uh, developing, right? we were developing GoBuilda and um, modern robotics reached out to us. They kind of saw the, uh, the uh, 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 Actobotics uh, started to be pretty, pretty popular in FTC. And so obviously they had a build system, uh, the matrix uh, build system. And so they reached out to us and they saw it. They said, you know, hey, we, you know, we would love to work with you guys or partner in some fashion. And so obviously we were well on our way uh, with uh, GoBuilda. Um, and so uh, we kind of we kind of let the cat out of the bag and said, hey, we do. They wanted a metric system, obviously. And so we kind of already said, hey, we, we've got a whole cool, really cool matrix or uh, go build a system coming out that's all metric. And so they were they were super pumped about that. And um, so we partnered up with them, and then they needed some revamping of some of their motors and stuff like that. And so um, we hooked up with uh, Modern Robotics, and they they. Um, so it's been a it's been a good partnership with them, um, and so but uh, uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of how that got started. So yeah, yeah, for sure. So with that, we had a question actually from before the show started from Mira from one three one three eight zero four. What technology do you guys think you'll be expanding into selling in the future? Okay. If you can talk about any of it, <clears throat> obviously brushless motors. I mean that's 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 going to be awesome. You know, obviously. In, Maybe not in FTC, but outside of FTC, obviously. Um, so those they'll play a big, big part. We're we're going to be developing a lot of cool stuff around that. Um, obviously, controls, um, a lot of breakout boards, uh, getting to more electronics. Um, and so I don't know if you guys had anything else to add. Well, our our goal is to make this a whole ecosystem. Um, it's where you go here, and you know it's one stop shop. You get your electronics, you get your mechanical parts, everything you need to build whatever it is. Uh, that you desire. So we've got a long ways to go. Um, we focused on the mechanical side very heavily. Um, you know, that's that's kind of what we specialize in or have done in the past. So uh, that's what we started out with. And you can easily, you know, grab an Arduino board or Raspberry Pi or something to get your project up and going. But ultimately, uh, we want to have our own proprietary boards and electronics for our customers as well. Honestly, we want to be able to jump in and go build a drone, believe it or not, and fly it around. So, I mean, that's, that will happen in the back of R&D uh, before long. So, uh, no doubt about that. So. I know we'd love to see some uh, videos of that on the FTC Discord if you guys will oh, share absolutely. that there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're building a lot of go build a stuff that you can get on and ride and drive around. And so, we'll, we'll be sharing some of that stuff pretty soon, too. So, that's, that's it's, it's pretty cool stuff. So. I want to ask a follow-up question here, actually. So you mentioned uh, not brushless motors for FTC. Uh, What about uh, other uh, first areas that might allow brushless motors like FRC? Have you given any consideration to that? We certainly have. You know, know, getting in to get things approved in FRC, we haven't gone down that road yet. Um, And so obviously we'll offer a lot of adapters. I know Rev just, uh, they launched a new, or getting ready to launch a new uh, brushless (laughs) motor. So obviously we'll have adapters for that. But but yeah, um, we haven't really tried per se to kind of go down that road to try to uh, get motors approved in frc but that's something we would we would certainly be very interested in doing so mm-hmm. um would you ever also think about uh, approaching ftc about brushless motors i can see in the chat there's a lot of people uh raving about the possibility of brushless motors uh, yeah that would be you know the Man, how brushless motors have changed every industry like this is 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 incredible. Especially obviously the RC car and RC airplane industry, but and, and of course anything RC based. But um, but yeah, that would be that would be awesome to be able to work with uh, first to be able to develop some type of brushless motor uh, or a complete system for them. So um, yeah. yeah, that would the robots would certainly change dramatically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, speed that would be and power a big difference. Be insane. Yeah, it would. So kind of in the FTC vein, Elon from 9421 asks, do you guys feel that the linear actuator kit goes against the spirit of FTC being kind of a pre-made kit? And do you, what do you think of the competitive implications of it are? 
Um, my kind of view on that is, is it's almost like if we had a, a motor kit and you took and assembled your own motor at the end of the process, you're creating rotary motion. Um, and you know, this is a kit that, uh, you assemble and you put together and then the end you have linear motion. So, uh, there's still quite a bit that you need to figure out and solve on your own. So there's, there's still quite a bit of development by the teams that they need to do. Yeah, I mean, we, we get, you know, the situation is this, too, is that we get a tremendous amount of calls. I mean, a lot of people on the forums and, and you go to the competitions and there's really good robots there, but there's a lot of people, a lot of teams out there that are just starting out and literally they are sweating bullets on how to perform certain tasks or they're just giving up on performing certain tasks. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's a slippery slope. You know, we try to set it up and we talk to a lot of teams um, that will call us up and say, hey, we don't know how to do this. You guys would just like at least give us some insight on the website or at least have a grouping of parts that would help us start. You know, we, we would love to modify it. But <clears throat> and so certainly we've gone down that route. Uh, but, yeah, it's you know, we debate about that all the time here because it's like, you know, it's, it's all about being creative and developing stuff. But also it's trying to be um you know, responsive to a lot of rookie teams that just have not built mechanical things at all, and they're just they're really frustrated. So it's 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 a it's a difficult situation, but but uh, but yeah, I mean, so we have we've come out with some kits that kind of help solve some problem problem areas or areas that teams just they can't sometimes figure out. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so Eric from FTC team uh, eighty four seventeen is wondering, uh, are the specs for the yellow jackets theoretical or have they been tested in some other way? Uh, for example, like how VEX tests different motors and gives more accurate and in-depth information. Uh, and if they are not um, uh, tested uh, results, can we expect data uh, from tests in the future? I guess I, I mean, I could jump in on that one too, but. Well, I can tell you we've done a lot of testing, you know, on the motors and um, they're underrated as far as the torque goes. You know, we've, we've looked at uh, how long you can stall one out, you know, before it's going to get hot and let the smoke out, things like that. Um, so we've, we've made sure that they're solid. And uh, so I don't think there's much left on there that is theoretical. Brian, you can probably explain Yeah, I mean, we, we've. We physically, you know, have a have a dyno that we dyno them on. Um, you know, they're very comparable. Yeah, I mean, if you start talking about like orbital twenties and stuff like that, which are those are great motors. Um, even the, the the rev motors are fantastic motors. Um, yeah, the, the the certainly the Andy Marks those are underrated as well. Um, they're all pretty much, and that's been pretty out relevant on the forums. You know, the the motors. I mean, they're five four five fifty uh, series motors. They're all pretty much the same. You know, when you're dealing with five five hundred series motors. You, there's a slippery slope between a lot of power and pulling a lot of amps and making them where they can stall out for a long period of time. So we've we've kind of catered to the side of, you know what, in, in a competition type motor, they're gonna be stalled out. You know, so we want those things to last a long time. And so literally, um, um, you know, we've stalled these things out for over 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> and so, which is, which is you know, uh, a crazy amount of time, but, you know, we could, you know, there could be a much more powerful motor that we could, Put in them, but um, we would rather err on the side of you know teams having a good quality motor that's not going to burn out on them. Yeah, yeah. especially coming from like the old days of FTC where stalling out <laughs> your motors was a legitimate concern. It's yeah. really just yeah. not anymore, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. how much that's changed. So and just orbital or planetary gearboxes. So that has helped tremendously. Definitely. So Nate from one two eight nine seven asks. What's the biggest reason that teams should consider GoBuilda over other comp competing building systems? I think there's something fun about working with a new build system. You know, if you guys have worked with Tetrix or Rev or something like that for a few years, um, not to say that it gets boring at all because the challenges are all going to be different, but it is, you know, it allows you to learn um, by dipping into a new build system. Um, I think there's some some good advantages uh, to go build a parts. You know, there's a lot of focus on motion, linear motion, rotational motion. Almost everything we do either fits in a bearing or a bearing fits in it. Um, and we've we continue to push the envelope as far as uh, development of new parts. You know, there wasn't really um, and an outward need, I guess, for like the hubs, for example, that I was talking about. But we saw an internal need to solve that problem before it even came up. So 
Uh, and one thing, too, is I don't mean to interrupt. There's one thing, too, is that a lot of students, I mean, this is stuff they're going to be using in the real, I don't say the real world, but, you know, in their job, is there, if they're going into engineering, um, there is a very good chance that they're going to be using Go Builda and or more than likely probably Actobotics in a lab or in, in an engineering environment. You know, so, you know, our systems are not designed for the education market. Um, obviously, you know, I mean, they're, they're pretty robust. They're pretty, a lot of fixed parts that can, a lot of power. Um, and so, but that's, I mean, if you're using Go Builder or Actobotics, I mean, it's a, it's a leg up if you're going to engineering and going out and getting a job at, you know, BASF or, you know, Tesla or Microsoft or Apple in your robotics division, you're, you're more than likely probably going to be using Actobotics or Go Builder um, to build prototypes. Yeah, yeah, we have um, a lot of companies using our parts right now, so and that's that's a lot of fun to see. We've seen them on TV all over the place. I mean, you go to work for NBC Special Effects, you're going to be using Actobotic parts. They use our parts. They're using movies. They're, they were using BB-8 for Star Wars. I mean, they're they're used everywhere. So, um, and you know, not to say that you couldn't use Rev and some Tetrix and stuff like that, but um, you know, um, the variety of parts that we have, there's usually a solution for anything you come across. That's so, and we listen to you know. We get ideas from the industry. Industry, you know, uh, gives us feedback as well. So, yeah, as I said, that'd be pretty cool uh, to work on. Uh, go to build a systems yeah. or actobotic systems, and then you go to your job or go to college, and you're like, "Hey, I just used these for four years and uh, okay. competed with them." Thank you to all of our co-executive producers, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com/first-updates-now.